Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Batube maintenance lorry which is the OTS-12 they're uh, 12 uh, robot in the line and this is a their interpretation of a hoist which uh, is one of my greatest memory from my childhood uh, hoist and trailblazer trailbreaker were both the first transformer I've ever received as a child and started my um, Transformer Mania <laughs> and this is the uh, bad kill interpretation of Hoist and I gotta say I am not disappointed this is a great piece so the boxes uh, a little heart on the side some more cartoon uh, interpretation on the back with nothing underneath nothing on the side not much on top, so yeah, the box is pretty plain, but it's bad use trademark. Opening up the box, we've got instructions, which are good, and you're probably gonna need those because bad cube is reputated. It has a reputation of having extremely complex uh, transformation, and this one is not exception. <laughs> So yeah, we all also have a card, which eh, I'm not too uh, interested in. Ugh. And inside of the box, we've got some more accessories, like tons of them. And I do appreciate this, uh, the the effort in those, but I'm I, I think it's rather useless for me because I'm not gonna use them. Basically, uh, all of these are for referencing a uh, single episode. That voice was in medieval, uh, with medieval characters, and these are those. So, I do appreciate the effort. Uh, it's like something I won't be using, but you know, they put the effort in. So, yeah, it's cool, but I'm not gonna review this. Like I said, not really interested in those. <coughs> what was, what I was really interested in is Boys himself. Now this is a beauty. Side, this is a great, great transformer. Like he is quite hefty, very heavy. Uh, there's a lot of diecast. Uh, all the hood is in diecast. The uh, top is in diecast. Uh, the I don't. I think these are diecast too. I'm not too sure. Uh, or plastic. I don't. Know. I don't remember. It, it feels like metallic. The toes right here are in die cast. It's just quite a lot of heft onto this guy. So yeah, he's a truck, pickup truck. He looks exactly the part like his G1 self. And he's got the trailer hitch in the back to uh, hoist other uh, transformers. He's got a hook that you can pull the cord. About six inch, five six inch, and you can reel it in using the uh, the, the spinning thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna reel it in. Yeah, it kind of gets into wagering transformation. Oop. All right, now it's all tight. So like I said, there's a uh, Articulated uh, hitch, the part right here. Uh, for his size comparison, here's uh, the Ocular Max Trailblazer. Well, he's Terra Aegis, but yeah. And yeah, like I said, the uh, trailer hitch is uh, hooking up the transformer right here and hooking the hood on. And he does like hold them like real good. The uh, trailer hitch is really solid. <laughs> So yes, size comparison, uh, Bad Cube seems a smidge bigger than the Ocular Max one. And I'm going to be doing a lot of comparison between these two because these two uh, were originally uh, uh, repaints of one, of, one, of one another in the G1 series. And now they've got like Ocular Max uh, doing their thing and Bad Cube doing their thing. But both of them are really great. That's why I bought them <laughs> both. <laughs> I couldn't figure. I, I couldn't uh, put myself to choice like which one 
to buy from each, either Ocular Max or Backcube. So I just bought one from each. So this is Ocular Max, this is Backcube. I just bought one of each. So now I have completely different uh, com transformation from each other, but uh, they remain the same figure at all uh, together. Like it's just great. <laughs> And that's what, like what I was uh, suggesting people. If you don't know which one to take uh, between Ocular Max and the Baku, why not both and one of each? So uh, yeah, <laughs> I choose the hoist from Ocular Ma uh, from Baku uh, because the especially for the legs transformation are qu is quite different from the um, uh, the Baku version of uh, Trailblazer. Uh, the legs transformation tra trailblazer looks insanely complicated. The the, the legs transformation for uh, the uh, hoist one is complicated, but not as involved as uh, the trailblazer one. But yeah, uh, so I took this one. Uh, yeah, it's on truck mode. There's not much else to say. The wings does open. Turtle itch goes down. The uh, towing thing is articulated and uh, that's pretty much it he does roll the uh, tires are in rubber my only gripe like if you take ocular max you can see he's really nice underneath like he's raised up you know it's a pickup truck so made for off-road so the uh, clearance underneath the truck needs to be cleared and ocular max uh, the bad, bad cube ones has like one centimeter of kittles on the needle truck, so this is a bit disappointing. And the um, uh, the the uh, trailblazer version of Bad Cube is not that bad underneath. All of the kibble was mostly because the leg uh, the legs transformation is so much different that there's extra kibble on it that the uh, Trailblazer doesn't have, so they have to uh, put the uh, cable somewhere, so this is where they put it. It's not really good looking, but he still does roll perfectly, he does have enough clearance, but uh, yeah, move him aside, so that's pretty much everything. The uh, mirror, side view mirrors are uh, soft rubber, which I uh, really like. Uh, they don't feel like they're gonna break. It's really, really soft rubber, and I like those compared to the um, Ocular Max, which is a um, uh, really strong uh, plastic. It's not soft rubber. It's really uh, hard plastic. Mine already was bent a little bit right here. There's tiny stress mark. At least this one, the the uh, Ocular Max does provide extra mirrors in case you break them. Uh, back cube doesn't provide any um, extra mirrors, but it's soft rubber, and I'm not afraid that they would break. It's it's just soft rubber. It's just gonna bend like this, and you know, so it's not gonna break. But the Ocular Max, I do feel like they're gonna break, and that's why they provide extra mirrors. So, <laughs> yeah. So uh, transformation. Uh, this bear with me. This is a complicated toy. Complicated to transform. <laughs> Oh, if you want some more comparison, like the Ocular Max right here, and here's Sideswipe, Masterpiece Sideswipe. Like they look, they look on par. Like Bad Cube and Ocular Max are uh, rip stated to have like the right uh, scale for Masterpiece. So yeah. All right, now we go for transformation. So like I said, bear with me. This is a really complicated transformation so first up you want to put your finger right here underneath the uh, wheel and pull this panel on the side this is gonna unlock the whole panel right here so do the same thing on the other side you do need fingernails because this is a tight spot next up you want to open up the panel and open the wing up like this All right, next up you want to come underneath there and unpeg these panels, which is gonna unlock pretty much all the leg assembly, like this. So all of this is our legs, and yeah. All right, 
So let's start by splitting the legs apart. And as you can see, the trailer hitch is separated also. But yeah. Next up, you want to lower the joint right here. It's a black uh, joint. It just lowers like this. And next up, you want to move it like this and bring it all the way up on that joint. It's a really tight joint right here. This is the other joint you want to bend. And it's a really tight spot. Yep, like this. And then you want to bring it all the way up. Close this. This is going to be the uh, kneecap. The uh, trailer hitch, you want to fit it inside of here. Like this. Now comes the uh, foot part. This is like, it's also really complicated, but <laughs> yeah. First off, you want to move this in the back, like this. This is going to be the foot. So you want to, so the foot was like this. You want to move this like this, open up the toes, I guess. Clip it right here. And underneath here, there's a... Uh, peg hole that just snaps in. Next up you want to spin it around, spin this like this, and you want to move it on the other way, on the other side. And I just popped everything off. <laughs> like I said, it's a complex, just moving parts all the way around. And now we have the foot done. If that just wants to pick in All right look at this so the foot is completely done now it looks like this next up you want to raise this up like this make it the L shape right here put the trailer hitch down like this and move the legs all the way around next up on that joint right here you want to bend the wheel up so like this yeah but you can meet the uh, plastic all the way flat. And next up, you want to open this panel right here and flip it all the way around like this, covering the uh, wheels. And there you have a clip on that panel right here, and it's going to tab into that one. Oops. The plastic just moved like this, like this and you clip it in. Now this is the leg all done and locked up. So you have one leg done. Yes. <laughs> and you repeat the whole thing for the whole the other leg. So you move this like this. Flip the kneecap. Flip the uh, trailer hitch down. Move the gray panel like this. Oh. Everything just on bends. Like I said, it's hell of a complicated transformation. Move the toe out. Uh, the panel goes on the back like this. The toe moves around like this. The other one like this. Move it all the way around. Here, move the toe there. Flip it all the way around. And you have the foot pretty much done. You just peg everything in, and yeah. Now you put this down, put the hitch there. Yeah. It's gonna be easier like this. Open the panel up, close it over the wheel, and then oop, close the panel like this. So now we have both legs done now. <sighs> now I need a break. <laughs> Next up, you want to flip the crotch uh, skirt down. And yeah, we are now we are done with the legs. So now we have a, a weird curve walk mode. So <laughs> The uh, rest of the transformation is not that complicated, but it is still involved because this is still a uh, bad cube. <laughs> you come to the front of the uh, bumper right here. The... Underneath the chrome part, 
this part right here needs to be flip down like this you also need some fingernails because this is really tight it's plugged in really nice so yeah next up you want to open up the arms untap them from the uh, crotch uh, the uh, black part right here there's uh, the uh, elbow joints right here are plugged in so you need to unplug them and you pull them out from inside the truck now these joints are like double jointed right here inside on each side and they're extremely tight and you want to bring them as much po as much out as possible so you just pull them out like this now you flip the whole thing over move the wings away just for some clearance and on top right here you have like hooks that will be hooked in the tiny hole right here can we focus yeah there's a tab here and just between the tab and the roof the hook goes there so goes like in and just apply some force a little bit of force like this so now it hooked really solidly next up you want to you see the uh, this is the arm and it's on a slider you want to pull it out uh, on the side as much as possible on this side and you want to move it up there's a square peg right here Oop. square peg right here and a square hole right here that is going to tap in so the tab is right in right now next up you want to raise this panel up close it in and close it in again on the uh, top of the shoulder next up you want to twist the arm around the fist is going to be like this so you flip it down and you pull on the uh, forearm piece right here and you rotate it around and you close it back in so now we have one arm done same thing for the other side so clip it real tight in side like here you tab the uh, joint right here and you flip this all the way to the top so it's really nice and tab this one doesn't have any uh, uh, forearm flipped on the other side because there he doesn't have any hand you just flip on the uh, just slide the uh, slider right here and it's really tight you slide the cannon and then you can pull just a tiny bit more to give it some length so now we have his cannon arm kinda like Mega Man <laughs> you come down to the hood and you flip the wheels inside like this and there's some tab on the uh, bumper right here that we flipped and it's tabbing in right and then you want to lower the bumper down and right here there's two peg holes well peg and peg holes on the underneath the bumper right here focus this is gonna tab in together so you want to tab it in and you want to slide the crotch plate all the way around uh, uh, far on. so you just have the crotch plate and slide it in front like this come to the back right here these things these are uh, you need to be really careful with this when you transform in back into truck mode these likes to just move around and just this is the correct position but they'll flip around and the uh, they, they'll just move around and this will enter the truck mode a lot so you just be careful with this when you transform in back into truck mode so you want to take these and flip all the way around and right here there's a tiny hole and it's gonna clump onto it, solidifying the uh, the hood. So you do the same thing on the other side, flip it all the way down and clamp it on the side. So now we have the buddy done. All we need left is the head reveal. So you want to come to the back, lower this down and just flip the head all the way up. 
flipping the head up will also raise a little bit of the backpack but you know it's okay and right here there's I don't know if you can see it clearly there's two pegs one here and one here they're gonna slide on each side right here of the backpack but first you want to open up the wings completely by opening the wings completely they clear this plate that you can pull out and we have the uh, uh, I think it's like a shield generator or something and then you want to plug it back in there's two peg holes square peg holes right here and there's two pegs right here you want to plug it inside of it like this raise the head and then you close the backpack in like this and now it's really really solid if you want you can just close these panel up the uh, bumper plate and close it in like this this is gonna help fill the inside of the body and yeah you can raise the wings up and we have pretty much hoist completely done now is just like cleaning them up now if you want like true to the G1 you can leave the panel open because the, the G11 uh, the G1 <laughs> original figure had these panels locked with the arms like this if you want you can just flip it all the way around like this or you know you have a lot of choice you can move this close it in and yeah you know you have a lot of replayability if you want also you can flip these in how is this like this like this clean it up and yep yeah like this you know it's a little bit cleaner on the back you can see the wings are smaller it's, it doesn't hinder too much but yeah this is basically hoist all completed yeah. legs yeah. just trying to position them <laughs> uh, move the camera a little bit Can we focus so yeah now we have hoist completely done and he looks great I love the robot look All right, and he is, he looks on par with the original hoist. Uh, as you can see here, the head detail. Uh, there's one thing, like the uh, plate right here, it's white. I think I saw uh, uh, previews of him with the gray plate, or black. I think it was gray. White just looks off a little bit, you know? But yeah. Uh, articulation the arms are on a swivel right here and also a really tight ball joint the arms have a swivel here and a joint right here the hand is on a swivel the fingers are all stuck together but they're still articulated uh, same thing of uh, the other arm but except that the uh, cannon doesn't have any uh, hand <laughs> The head is on a ball joint, which flip side to side, up and down. The radar thing is uh, articulated. The radar thing is articulated. So yeah, the we do have a waist swivel, except it's squeaky as heck. <laughs> uh, we do have a swivel on the leg right here, and a swivel right here, just on top of the leg. The knee articulation is uh, this. This is a little bit uh, my a, a little bit disappointing because the leg you've got the black shin right here, which is articulated, so you can move the leg all the way back and clip back in. Then you have these two joints, and the the figure does have a little bit of trouble. If you see me uh, trying to position him. These joints can be, on that leg it's quite tight, but on the other leg they are uh, extremely soft. So 
they are uh, he is hard to position just because of the double uh, joint here so yeah just destroyed the leg just trying to show you this <laughs> and yeah the uh, foot does have a pivot and does move up and down the uh, heel does have articulation and yeah it's pretty much it so yeah here is hoist and like I said he does tend to uh, have trouble staying standing up just because of the uh, the way the double jointed knees are it's just kind of weird you know? and yes yeah, so for a size comparison here's another of bad cube the warhog which is a tiny bit smaller and here's Masterpiece Wheeljack, which is that smaller also. He is a big fella. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he is a quite nice. I really love Hoist. And Bad Cube's interpretation is just absolutely amazing. He is also, like, like I said, it's quite some heft to him. Because there's a lot of die cast in him. He is nice. He doesn't have... Even though there's a lot of stuff going on in the back, he is not that much, you know, back kibbly, you know. Looks great. Now, if you want, you can also extend the legs. You can move this around. You can extend the leg, which is, which is really tight, like this, if you want to make him taller. So, yeah, you just extend the legs right here. Do the same thing on the other one. Yeah. And the uh, hook just on roll itself. So you can make him much bigger. Much, much bigger. But personally, Hoist has always been a uh, this small and tiny, uh, the small and fat one. <laughs> so I'm probably going to leave him uh, shortened uh, shorten down. Now, for size comparison with trail with the uh, ocular max terry aegis uh where i'm just gonna transform him and here he is with ocular max terra aegis <laughs> and they look great together now i know that voice should be smaller but because i um raised the kneecaps i can lower them down a little bit more just to make him originally his size and this joint is really tight. And close the panel. Locked everything up. Yeah. So now they are more even size. <laughs> now, uh, the Ocular Max 1 is much sleeker. Uh, much less kibbly. It's all leaner. There's no, like, panel flopping it around or nothing in the backpack. It's all cleaned up. Obviously, there are two different lines, and this one is like there's a lot of parts and kibbles and whatnot everywhere. <laughs> he is much, much, much complicated. Complicated transform. So yeah, they both look great together. Like this one is sleeker with the hood that collapsed, so making him a bit uh, slimmer. And Hoist is a bit fatter, but this is how they were originally. Hoist was the small fat dude. <laughs> and Trailblazer was the uh, fighter one. So, Sleeker. So th that's the reason why I went with Bad Cube as Hoist and the um, uh, Ocular Max uh, Teta Aegis. Like this, I think this is the perfect way to represent each character. Now I know there's fan toys coming up in uh, this year I think with their version of these two guys. We haven't seen much from them yet so can't decide. But right now these are the only two ones on the market and I am very satisfied with both of them. So um, yeah, do I recommend them? Highly hells. Yeah. <laughs> Hoist is like I said, he holds a very special place in my heart 
for being one of the very first transformer I ever had as a child and this is just like uh, a high masterpiece grade homage to that character which I highly love so yeah nothing much else to say do I recommend of course go buy him he's great I think the Hoy's version of Bad Cube is actually much better than the uh, Trailblazer version of Bad Cube which is almost the same figure is just retooled but the new parts retooled for, for, for Hoist I think they are much better so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time